Okay. Don't panic, but this is by far the greatest roller coaster I have ever ridden in my entire life. This coaster is awesome. This is Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point, and man, this coaster is just all sorts of hauling. This ride was awesome when I rode it. Um, so, in today's review, I'll be talking about uh, what I like about this coaster. There's a lot of things I loved about this coaster. Uh, we'll be talking about the stats. Um... Q line and entertainment stuff like that, um, um. So yeah, so let's start off with uh, the stats first. So it's located at Cedar Point, Sandusky, Ohio. It is manufactured by Rocky Mountain Construction or RMC. Uh, is a hybrid, which is wooden steel. Um, it is a height of two hundred and five feet tall. Pretty. It's it's also known as the world's first hyper hybrid coaster. It has a drop of 200 feet, and a max vertical angle of the drop is 90 degrees. So think about that. 200 feet, 200 feet drop, and 200 foot drop, and 90 degree drop. That's like a really intense drop. It, the, uh, it has 5,740 feet of track. Max speed is 74 miles per hour. It has four inversions. Um... And it, the duration is 2 minutes and 30 seconds long. So, I mean, take a look at the stats. Stats are really impressive. And also, they quote it as the world's, most, the world's most airtime on any other roller coaster on the planet. So, that's what they also quote it as well. Um, but every element on this coaster is really I love this ride. So, I want to talk about the queue line for one sec. Is just to let you know, the queue line of this ride could get really long. Like, or maybe like any other coaster at Cedar Point. Not just Seal Avengers, but any other coaster, like Maverick or, or uh, Top Thrill Draxter, that could possibly get like a two to four hour wait. When we were there, when we were at Steel Vengeance, we were wait for, for the first day, we waited for two hours. We thought it was worth it because it's going to be the world's best coaster. Uh, but second day was like four hour to five hour wait, and we didn't really want to do it. We wouldn't want to do it. But Cedar Point did ha held this event, um, like two, like a two hour, then called like a two hour wait. So this park does the Steel Vengeance does have entertaining, um, like cow. They have like a mascot, like a cowboy cow bell, cow girl. Uh, I forgot their names, but um. As for Q-Line, it does have a twisted lay. It does have, it's, the Q-Line is like all surrounded in the middle, kind of like what Wicked Cyclone, so you could put lots of foot video in it. Uh, there's also one point in the Q-Line, like, if you're like, you're like six feet, you're like six feet inches from like getting killed. You're like six inches really, you're like six feet away from getting killed. Like when you're on, when during that last airtime hill, it's like you're like right on the Q-Line, you're like right below the Q-Line. Um, as for trains, uh, as for trains, Steel Vengeance did suffer an accident earlier this year. They were running one, two, they were running two trains when I was there, so it did suffer an accident. Uh, it does have RMC restraints, but the newer ones and, in, uh, in the station, uh, they're just kind of do like a countdown and stuff like that. So let's talk about, let's take a look at the POV and do ride by our ride element. So first of all, it does take this turn to the right, no bank, but it does have some bent bunny hills to it. Then after, it does have a very ear-raping lift hill, um, but this is a really long lift hill as well, so you might get your eardrums blown um, pretty soon. 90-degree drop, two over two, uh, over 200 feet, world's fastest airtime hill. Look at this airtime hill. This is a sweet airtime hill. This is one of the best airtime hill coasters. This is a, a really cool airtime hill. You do have a top hat, and then after the top hat, you do a wave turn. This wave turn is so sweet. I love this wave turn a lot. Then after, you do have a double up into its first inversion. Then you do have some couple bank turns. Um, you do have a couple bank turns. Another inversion. I believe that's a stall, but I'm not 100% sure. Going double it down, and then going double up again into the brakes. This is the brakes so they can slow momentum for its third train. But unfortunately, when we were there, the third train wasn't running due to the accident. Um, then you do a couple of airtime hills. There's a wave turn again. Wave turn. You do have a couple banks still. Uh, you do have another inversion. So like I said, there's four inversions on Steel Vengeance. 
Uh, and also, this is credited to steal. Uh, this is credited to Cedar Point, so don't forget to check out its POV as well. Uh, you do have another inversion, and then you do have some couple banks. Um, and then look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six, six airtime hills, which are pounding rides. So this ride is just awesome. I so out of any at every element on this coaster is just awesome. Every element I love on this coaster is just amazing. Every row on this coaster is just also amazing. We I, I the only row I did was back and that was three times. Uh but if you want to sit in the back, uh you have to ask politely to the ride attendant to ask for a back row seat. Um but man, we did ask politely to, for a back row seat. This ride was just amazing. Holes a lot. This is a really cool ride to get around to. You have to check around at some point. So what am I going to give it for its final score? It's going to get a 10. 10 out of 10. That is my score out of 10. This is just an amazing ride. Love this coaster a lot. And it also, I just want to let you guys know that both RMC Steel Vengeance and Twisted Timbers both have foam policies. Uh, I believe Twisted Timbers got into an accident. Um, got into a... No, wait, not an accident, but so, uh, a person got hit with a phone. Um, so, yeah. And also, Steel Vengeance also faced an accident back in July with someone throwing hot sauce. Um, so, that just ha that happened in July. But, man, this ride is awesome. I love this ride a lot. Element by element, you are going to love a ride. This is a fantastic ride. You are going to love this for sure. Um... Just an amazing ride. Element, like I said, element, element. I think any row is probably good, but I love this ride a lot. So, yeah. So, uh, that is it for my Steel Vengeance review um, coming from Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Let me know in the comment section below if you have rated this. Let me know in the comment section below. And, of course, stay tuned for more Coaster Box videos. They'll be coming out shortly, and I'll catch you.